We're down here in one of New York City's most popular neighborhoods to see some really small, really interesting apartments. We've got everything from gas meters to bathrooms that are so small, all you can really do is sit there and watch TikTok. What is this, a closet? No, that's the bedroom. There's no windows in here. And the smallest of these is a complete apartment measuring 150 square feet. But hey, it's got laundry. Charles, what do you think they're growing up in that apartment? It doesn't work. Listen, you have you have a door. This will be great for sleeping. It's kind of dark in here, man. What you trying to say? This is nine feet by seven and a half feet. Is this the biggest or the smallest place we're seeing today? I believe it's gonna be the smallest place. There's a closet. And it's actually not bad. There's a heater. This looks like the pantry. And this is not a closet, it's actually the bathroom. Honestly, it's nice. Lots of storage with mirrors everywhere and some Tuscan pear hand soap. We have a hand towel holder, a regular towel holder, and then over here we have a roll holder. These get stolen. Full size tub for taking a bath. And we have a little window. What is this face? Oh, uh, the cemetery. You know most apartments in New York don't have dishwashers? All the appliances in here look like they're in really good shape. Dude, it's warm in here. This is on. No! Yo, I mean... That was on the whole time. Oh no, this is a gas stove too. All right, now that we've saved the building from disaster, we can enjoy the rest of it. Believe it or not, this whole place is 230 square feet. Now the living room here is um, it's a little wider at this end. Nine feet wide, and that corner's like four feet. The workstation over here. And then like a table, a couch, and a TV. And the view here is absolutely breathtaking. Look at that, man. We're seeing all these old school buildings and then this modern one. This is actually like a historic church. That's why there's the cemetery. Definitely interesting. But Charles has promised that everything else we're gonna see is an upgrade to this in some category. So let's go find out if that's true. How do we get to the next place? You sure we can get out here? This one feels bigger. It does and it is. What's the rent? Four. Is this our bedroom? That is the bedroom. Uh, no window, but it feels bigger too. It's got like a normal closet door. That's an upgrade. Oh, and look, it has a shelf way up there that no one can reach. That's where the good stuff was. Like your cable modem. What's that button right there? The thermostat. Oh, it's high tech. Oh, is the oven on? Doesn't look like it. Now the living room here is 13 by 15, and the bedroom is 9 by 10, which makes this tiny apartment 285 square feet. Boy, that extra 50 square feet, that goes a long way. And I feel like with this one, you could actually have guests who you didn't just get married to. Maybe you can even meet some new friends at the house parties. These people probably throw, look at that apartment. Three years ago, that place rented for 12 grand. Just imagine how much it's gonna be when it comes back on the market. That whole house is one apartment? One apartment. Closet's the same. And if you really gotta go, the bathroom is right next to the front door. Oh man, this is one of the most convenient bathrooms anywhere in New York City. Look at this, you can wash your hands right here. You can also wash your feet over here if you want to, all from the throne, which is situated in the right place. But is that a problem if the rest of the apartment is bigger? Tub is the same. Got ourselves, you know, some storage. Place for your soap, uh, outlet for something. Oh, and we've got the old school drop drain. In this position, your drain is locked. To open it up, you pull it out and twist it. Now it will flow. We're talking about the bathtub drain. Now you know. This one is definitely gonna rain before the other because it has a... Oh, look at that. Sink sprayer. And you can sit on the counter. Yeah. Nice, we got the mushroom building. So this 
one's 240 square feet, so a little smaller, but look at all the sunlight. The difference here is that we're street facing and eastward facing. There's so much light, you're gonna get sunburns in your kitchen. And luckily, all these kitchens are similar. Look at this one, the dishwasher. I don't know if they just changed it or something, or if they're going to, it's kind of poking out a little bit. But here we've got a kitchen that is just totally tucked away in the corner of the room. Lots of cabinets. <laughs> Fifth floor water pressure, not bad. Plus it comes with its own AC and its own gas meter for some reason. We've still got the deal with the three windows. Really? Oh, that is so weird. It's like 30 feet up with a weird little knob. Can you open that? Sunbathe and bathe at the same time. A lot of small apartments, I just envision them as having like a dim ray of light shining down upon you in them. And here that is definitely a reality. Look at that, it's so interesting. You don't even need the lights in here. That's how good this is. But they work really bright actually. Big storage up here, love that. On the other side of the bathroom floor, we got a closet tucked away. Oh, look at that, there's a fancy light. None of the others had lights inside them. I'm also noticing that the doorway here, this is wider than the other one, and that's why we've got the two doors. Plus, since they don't open that wide, you can get a bed in the corner, dressers and stuff across. This building is gorgeous. He's gotta show it to someone, so while we wait for him to finish, there are surprises in the basement of this thing. Elevator's a surprise too. Excuse me. This is nice, we have a basement laundromat. Card activated, hand soap, which is empty. Is this better than in-unit laundry? Probably not, but it does keep costs down. The cage thing here is kind of weirding me out though. If you don't pay your rent, they might stick you back here. In the mail room, we've got Amazon. This way nobody jacks your package. And look at these cool stained glass windows. This is really old looking. Oh, there you are. How many people you got meeting here to see this? Six. Whoa. Oh, it's so small. This is 35. The layout's really good. It's a studio, not a one bed. This separation just leads to the bathroom. Occupied apartment, so it's kind of interesting to see how it's set up. From one end to the other, this is 15 feet by 11 and a half feet. And by the kitchen, underneath that TV, you could get a table if you were willing to get the TV up a little bit higher. Then we got the couch and the bed. Living room and sleeping area are the same room. Charming little internet corner over here. This is the back of the building, so it's not gonna get any street noise. It'll be nice and quiet. Is it okay that the window's left open and no one's here? Okay, all right. Wow, that is like an unsafe amount of things all plugged into one outlet. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's like something out of a fireman's nightmare. <laughs> Where's the next one? Oh, sweet. better than the other one. From one end to the other, 10 feet by 15 and a half feet. This is basically a bedroom with a doorway. Basically. The view's awesome. We're facing the street, very sunny. Uh, to be clear, I'm not hating on this place. It's just, you know, it's not. That heater might have come from a haunted mansion though. Free AC, little remote. And we got this awesome built-in wardrobe. That's pretty good. This is the only closet. But you can have coats, socks, something else. Didn't test the water in the other one for obvious reasons, but that's good. Stove is nicer too. Got the fancy blue light ups. How's the oven? Looking clean. Fridge opens the right way and it comes with some free water. Not a bad kitchen. I like how it's bright, but I feel like this microwave might be too high up. This is over my head. If you had a hot pot of porridge and you pulled it out of there, you could scald yourself. You will. Seriously, why is it so high up? The intercom system is also right next to the fridge. That's good, if you're over here looking for some ice cream and someone's downstairs, you can do both at the same time. This apartment saves you time because it's so small. And lots of cabinets. I know, the storage is good. Really good. Your bed's probably gonna go by the windows, couch, and then a mounted TV and a table. That's bigger than your apartment. Ooh.
That's a clogged proof toilet right there. And look at the tub, the spout is in the middle. Same with the shower, but it's got probably the biggest tub that we've seen so far. Little window in here, you can put a plant. And we've got the standard sink and cabinets. Any treasure in here? Ooh, a little bit of wallpaper, fancy. We're in the middle of Charles's open house, so we're gonna let him do that, and we're gonna go see one more place, which is really tiny. They were all really tiny. This is like a perfect fit too. And the rent on this is $39.95 a month. The bedroom is eight by seven and the living room is around 12 by eight, but it is really sunny. You can see your neighbor's potted plants on their fire escape. And look at that, you have a fire escape too. In the common area, you could probably get a table, maybe an entertainment center in the corner. You don't want to block the front door. And over here we have the bedroom door. We have the coat closet, and then this is the, for the bathroom. So nothing can really go here. It's gonna be table, chair, or couch, and then maybe mounted TV. That's dishwasher. Fourth floor water, looking good. Look at how fancy that sink is, that's nice. Four outlets, four burners for cooking. And there's a microwave for reheating what someone else already cooked. It's definitely a kitchen with every appliance. My favorite of which is the uh, blue LED beverage cooler. You can show people how sophisticated you are. The exposed brick also gives it some character. And we've also got this interesting gas pipe which goes along the ceiling. You probably don't want to touch it. And even though the bedroom's not that big, the door opens out and we have a decent closet. But you're probably looking at a full-size bed in here. Now, although this is smaller than the others, it has laundry and this is an actual vented washer dryer. It's not like a combo unit. The sink area is big. There's decent pressure. And there's more than enough to watch TikToks from the best seat in the apartment. And as for cleaning yourself, we have a sliding glass door that leads to a pretty big shower. Honestly, this could have had a bathtub, but I'm glad it doesn't. A big standing shower is better than a small bathtub. Big shower head, soap and shampoo. This is your towel holder. And that is your roll holder. This is also about a foot and a half, so if you're curious how narrow this actually is, it's not that bad. And all of the drawers and stuff do open completely. Subscribe, or don't. I'll see you soon.